Ladies and gentlemen, direct from our own Council Rock High School South, Kate Fahey is going to come up here, ninth grader. She's going to perform the end of Astonishing from the musical wow. Little Women. Nice to meet you. So talk to us about Astonishing a little bit. Okay. Well, Astonishing is one of my favorite songs. Um, it's from Little Women, and I think I can relate to it most because there's, I think everyone has a little part of them that just kind of wants to be something, and I know, like, I want to be something someday. So um, uh, it's from Little Women, and basically during this song, um, Jo is trying to, like, uh, she's, she realizes that she has no one with her, so she just has to kind of be on her own, astonishing, so. Okay. Yeah. All right, let's just listen to this then. Okay. As from a singing standpoint, there's really nothing I can say. I mean, everything is great. And Thank you. Um, except to say that the less work that you show that you're doing, the better. Okay. It's, it, it should never, ever feel like, I mean, no singer should ever look like they're having a tough time getting the, the notes out. Um, and you don't seem like you're having a hard time. You look like you're, you're singing there with a smile on your face and enjoying every single second that you're up there, which is good, because you should. Um, singing is awesome, and being able to do it well, it, it makes it even more awesome. Um, in, in terms of, of, like, what are the images, what are the things that, sh that Joe in the song is saying? What are the lines, like, she's talking about these different ways that she's going to be this amazing, amazing thing. Corey, what, what, is, what are like some of the images in the song, in that, in just in that section? Like, what does the lyric say? Uh, okay, so, um, here I go, and there's no turning back. It's great, okay, to shine as brightly as the sun, uh -huh. I will blaze until I find my time and place. Okay. I will be fearless, mm -hmm. surrendering modesty and grace. <laughs> okay. I will not disappear without a trace. I'll shout and start a riot. Oh, anything, anything but quiet. quiet. Christopher Columbus, I'll be astonished. Cool. So what you could do as an exercise, there are lots of songs where there are images, and she's, she's just basically saying that these are, I, these are the things I'm going to be. Mm -hmm. So in your head, you can equi you know, equal any and all of these things to something maybe that's a little different, like... So that, because Jo has these huge ambitions for herself, mm -hmm. and, and I love this character. I just, I, I read the original book, so when I saw the musical, I'm like, totally knew who everybody was. And, and she's the most ambitious, she's the brightest, she's, she, her ambitions for herself are huge, and it's like paving the way, that's what she's going to be. Mm -hmm. um, so if those images are really clear, she's gonna blaze like the sun, which is a huge deal. I'll, I'll start a riot. Let, let each of these things be very different. Okay. Different, great. They're all great. But don't let it be general okay. great. Right. 
Let it be as specific to you. Like each thing is a specifically different thing in your mind. When you blaze like the sun, it's one thing. When you say, I'll start a riot, it's another thing. Okay. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the more specific it is to you, and the more, but the more tangible it is to you, it has to be real for you. Mm -hmm. And then it will color also how you sing it because you're seeing something different. You're thinking something different. And it's, it'll inform the lyric in, in a different way. So if you wanted to sing it again with that adjustment, that, that's really up to her if she wants to do it. Yeah, okay. Shall and 